Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today with another challenge video. So I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Here we go with DIY number one. Now for this first DIY, I got these stone birds, which part of it you couldn't see. And I got this napkin in one of the napkin challenges that I was a part of. It's such a beautiful napkin. Now what I'm doing is I've already painted my birds with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint and there are two of them sitting in two different positions. So what I'm going to do is tear up some of this tissue paper or napkin and we are going to Mod Podge it on these birds and this is so adorable. Now I'm going to make sure that I take my little fan brush and I'm going to make sure each little piece is put down and then I'm going to make sure that all the edges are down and then I'll add my next piece to it and you see me that doing that here. If you put this in smaller pieces, it makes it easier for it to fit the form of the bird. You just want to make sure that you don't go over it too much because you will rip the napkin. Now, after we go over it all and made sure both birds are completely covered, then you're going to let them sit and dry and then they'll be see that how the Mod Podge gets wet. You don't want to overlap it too much because it kind of makes double layers and so it's better if you just let it overlap just a little bit. And then let these dry and they're ready to use and we'll see these at the final reveal. I also wanted to let you know I got these birds from the thrift store and they were $2 each. So this whole DIY is under, and the napkin was gifted, so the whole nap, the whole thing is under $5. So here we go with DIY number two. For this DIY, I got this candle base from the thrift store for uh, $0.99 cents, and I took and painted it with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint first. And then, um, or no, that was already painted. That I think no, I painted it with Russell Lemon and white chalk paint. I let it dry. I also painted that frame down there that you see in my little birds. I got everything painted white first before I started. Then I decided that I wanted this to be painted, so I painted this with the Admiral Blue by Apple Barrel, and I'm going to paint the whole thing in that color and let it dry. And then I took a little napkin piece of that napkin and went around the bottom of that and I didn't like it. And you see what I'm showing you right there? I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Now this nap, this, this little candle base was only 99 cents. So I went and took some of my air dry clay that I already had on hand. And if you don't have this on hand, you can make it out of salt dough. And there is a video that I did a while back on how to make salt dough ornaments and it would be the same process. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking and adding some glue to my uh, air dry clay so that it doesn't crack. Now at this point I realized it was going to get messy so I went and got my gloves on and I am just going to take and keep working this clay back and forth and then what I'm going to do is that little pink mold you see sitting there I'm going to roll this into a little log and then I'm going to take baby powder and I'm going to put it in the mold and that's going to help this mold to this clay to release from the mold and I'll take a little paintbrush and get all, all the extra and then I'm going to just roll that in a log and put it in that little uh, beaded section there and you want to make sure it's long enough that it goes all the way around your project and I had to piece this together because it took one and a half of these to do this. Here's what it looks like when I take it out of the mold and I'm just going to go along. Now I did go back and paint over that with blue before I glued this down to I took the Admiral Blue and covered up the napkin that I had on there because I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and then um, I glued this on and let it dry overnight. I used more of the Aileen's Tacky Glue to put this down and then I went back over it with Aileen's Tacky Glue after I got it on there, the whole piece, so that it didn't crack. And then the next morning I got up and painted it blue again. And then after I got it painted blue and that dried, I took this Rub and Buff and it is silver. Now I used to use this a lot when I worked for Kirkland's. It covers up a lot of mistakes when something gets broken or nicked and it takes very, very little. See, I put a little bit on and then I take my other finger and I rub it in 
and you don't need very much. So I go all the way around the bottom of that and I go around this base here. Now you see how I fairly lightly touch that? It does not take much of this stuff. This tube will last for years. All right, you guys, today's video is a DIY challenge the 505. You had to make five projects for under five dollars each and I think I accomplished that here and they're supposed to be Easter decor. Now mine is a little bit different because I like to decorate for the holiday but I like it to be something that I can use the rest of the year. You guys these ladies links are in the description box below along with a playlist. Go check them out because they're doing some awesome crafts and our host today is Missy from the Crafty Cove DIY our guest host is Dawn from Designs by Gaddis and uh, Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Now here we go with DIY number three. For DIY number three, we took a frame and we painted it with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Then the next thing we did is we took our little mold out again and we put some baby powder in it because baby have powder has cornstarch in it and it'll keep it from sticking. Then we took some of this air dry clay that's made by Crayola and we are going to put a piece of it in here. Now my suggestion, you don't see me doing it here on this one, but I did it on one of the other projects, is put some glue with that so that it does not crack on you. And we are going to press this into the mold. Now my frame I got for 79 cents at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section because it was dented and had dings and stuff in it. But it still had its little family in it. So I was so excited. And the glass and everything. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, about the family, you'll see in a minute. So I'm checking here to make sure to see how much of this mold I'm going to need. So I pull my thing out of the mold. I trim off any of the excess that's leaking over and then I'm going to measure it and see how much more I need to make. Now my suggestion is do like I did here, lay it on the top of your frame and then uh, let the edges hang over. That way your seam is not on your edge or it's going to be on the side. So then I took tacky glue, glued it down and put it in place and smushed it around the edges to make sure everything fit. And I'm going to do enough of this to go all the way around the edge of it. And then after I finished that, I did, I went back down there and got the little pearl strand and I'm going to take and make two of those, two or three of those to go around the front of the frame so that it has some decorative pieces on the front because that's where it was nicked at. So I'm going to do the same process as I did the other and press it into my mold and take it out. I took my tacky glue and glued it down to my frame just like you see it here. Now what you see me doing here is I'm going to go back over it with some wood glue. You guys don't do this. This didn't work. I thought this might help keep it from cracking, but it didn't. Just use regular Aileen's Tacky Glue on it, just like we did with the uh, little candlestick piece in the first part of the video. Don't do this step here. Just put Tacky Glue instead of wood glue, because this didn't stop it from cracking. I let that dry overnight and I went back and took that uh, lightweight spackling from the Dollar Tree and filled in any cracks. If you get cracks, that's how you can fill them in is with that and then use a brush to just kind of brush them, brush the, smooth it out to make it look like it's supposed to be that way, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to take and paint this with that Admiral Blue, just like I did the little uh, candlestick base there. And you guys, I'm sorry I didn't put the footage in there with the lightweight spackling. I didn't see that when I was doing my editing. And I'm sorry I missed that for y'all. But if and when I do another project like this, I'll show you how I, I did it so that it makes sense. So I'm going to paint the inside, the outside of the frame, and all the edges so that everything is covered in that Admiral Blue. This turns out absolutely gorgeous. So after I finish that, then I'm going to take that same silver. See me lightly dabbing it on there? Look how much this covers. It doesn't take very much. Just barely touch it. See? Isn't that gorgeous? I love that blue with this silver. So we went all the way around the frame and then we're going to put our little family back in it that was in it when we bought it. And here's our little family back in all 
pretty and ready to go. So that'll we'll see the rest of that at the final reveal. Now here we go with DIY number four. Now because I wanted to make sure if you couldn't get the birds from the thrift store like I found, because it took me a long time to find those. Um, I got these little birds from the Dollar Tree and I think they come in like a pack of eight or six or something like that. And I'm going to take and Mod Podge one of those napkins down. Now, I did paint these first with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint and what you saw me doing there was taking the bigger pieces off and then I'm going to burn the edges of it and then I'm going to take my little sanding uh, nail file sander and I'm going to go around the edges of it and sand it. Now after that was all done I took my Admiral Blue and painted the back of these because I did not want the back will be seen if it's sitting on like a countertop or something like that and I didn't want it to be seen so I'm going to paint it with the Admiral Blue on the front and the back of both my little birds. Now you guys I was supposed to make one go in one direction one go in the other direction but you know me I messed it up. So both of my little birds are going in the same direction but I, if I made this again one would go one way and one would go the other way. <laughs> now the next thing I did is I had some of these little pieces of floral that were left over and that little piece of wood with those little slats in it that came off of another project that I did earlier in the year. Now what you see me doing here is I'm taking a black bead and I'm going to take and stuff my little flowers in this because it kind of gives you something to glue down and making sure that all your flowers are actually stuck to your project. So I'm going to do that to two little sections and you see me sitting there uh, facing them on the board trying to figure out what I want to do and your little birds will stand right on that little stand because it was made for those cutouts back at Christmas time. So what I did next is I took this little uh, flower pot from the Dollar Tree that I already used the other ones and the other projects and this is the biggest one and I had it left over. So I took some of that antiquing wax made by Waverly and I put it uh, did my little flower pot in it and I glued it down right there and then you see me gluing my little bird down and then I'm going to take and put glue on that and stick it inside the flower pot. Now all of these are bits and pieces of different projects that were left over. The only thing I bought was the birds and I that it was new and so basically it only cost you a dollar and if you uh, count all the other stuff it, it's just a couple of cents more and then I'm going to take my little uh, bird here and I'm going to glue it partially to the bird that I stuck in the thing that way the glue doesn't show and this is absolutely adorable and we'll see the rest of this one at the final reveal now at this time we'd like to thank our subscribers we love you bunches and we really appreciate everything you do for us here we go with DIY number five now for this DIY you're going to need one of these little uh, clipboards from the Dollar Tree. You're going to want to take off that little jute bow that's at the top of it. And this one they really glued that one on. Now you're going to take that little piece of paper off but save that little piece of paper because you're going to need it. Now the next thing that we're going to do, so this one's only $1.27 is what we've got in it. Now we're going to take a piece of that blue napkin and we are going to Mod Podge this to the very bottom. This one's so quick and so simple. And we're going to make sure that those little slats are actually slats in there. So you're going to need to make sure you get Mod Podge down in there and make sure your napkin goes into those little slats. And then once you get it down very lightly, go over the top of it. Now I'm fraying the top edge of it there because it was too straight for me and I didn't want it to be straight. And then I put it down onto the project and I'm going around the sides to make sure it wraps around the sides so it looks like one cohesive piece. And then we're going to set that aside and let it dry. And the next thing we did is we took us one of those calendars that we used for some of our other projects and we're going to trim off the edges of it so that it fits on that little piece of paper that we took off the clipboard that was originally on there for purchase and we're going to take that and we're going to glue it on there and make sure that it's got plenty of glue on it, smoosh it down on there 
and then we're going to take and you need to fold it or trim the edge up because you want your little design to show on the bottom that you already put on there so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to trim it up some and i think i ended up trimming off just the bottom maybe a little off the top and i'm going to make sure see if it's not it didn't so i'm going to just fold that edge down and then we'll see the rest of this at the final reveal this is so cute all right, you guys, today's video is a DIY challenge, the five under five. You had to make five projects for under $5 each. And I think I accomplished that here. And they're supposed to be Easter decor. Now mine is a little bit different because I like to decorate for the holiday, but I like it to be something that I can use the rest of the year. You guys, these ladies links are in the description box below along with a playlist. Go check them out because they're doing some awesome crafts. And our host today is Missy from the Crafty Cove DIY. Our guest host is Dawn from Designs by Gaddis and uh, Emily from Farm Charm Chic. All right, you guys, the playlist is in the description box, and so is the link to these ladies' channels. Go check them out, because all those ladies are doing some awesome crafts over there, and you sure don't want to miss it. And here we go with the final reveal. Alright y'all, we're back from the craft desk. Didn't these turn out absolutely gorgeous? I think so. You guys, if you like this content, subscribe. It's free. Give us that big thumbs up and share our videos because it really helps us out. You guys, we love you bunches and we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you later. Bye! Sharing them with my grandkids and others. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> You're too cute to keep talking about. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hi, y'all. It's Charlene. Yeah, and I'm from the Crafty Art Shack. I sure am. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're back from the craft, craft desk. The craft desk. Really? <laughs> All right, y'all. Give us that big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.